Uh, we've got water. We're at Twin Dams at the moment. And there is a squirrel going crazy. So we're just going to quickly drive onto the dam wall. And look, it's in that big Balanites tree, I think, the squirrel. Now squirrels, of course, will alarm call at just about anything. I've come to the conclusion that when they have a domestic argument, they start alarm calling at each other. But they will also, of course, alarm call at leopards or lions. One in that tree there. One off to the left hand side of where we are now. Where is it looking? Straight towards us. It's deeply dissatisfied with life. Looking around here, everybody. Now, Sibyl Siso, you want to know if these squirrels have got different kinds of alarms. I'm sure, assuming you're meaning for different animals. So would their alarm call differently for a leopard as opposed to an eagle or a python? Um, yes, they probably do. Do I know the difference? No, I don't. Does anybody know the difference? There might be a few researchers who are doing it. It's certainly not as obvious as it is with monkeys, for example. I mean, that is a very, very cross squirrel. But I can't see anything in the base beneath this tree or in beneath the wall. So let's go a little bit forward. There's another one calling just off to the left-hand side here. Call me... Call me, Beth, you say that the squ squirrels and mongoose are like the maniacs of the bush. I don't think they're maniacs. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd love to know what you mean by that, actually. Now, the last time I saw Hosanna, he spent... He was sort of lurking in amongst these bushes here, trying to catch a duckling or two. Let's go further up this way. I don't see any tracks of anything. We'll just stop here and have another listen and a look. I think it might be worth just quickly heading onto the main road and just see if something isn't crossing. If the signal does get a little dodgy here, I'm sorry. It should be okay and rusty though. We should be fine signal wise. I'm about to fall into this dam. <laughs> Just look in the look in the water here. Can you see the little white faced whistling ducklings? Look at them there. And they keep putting their heads under the water. And they can actually hide their whole bodies under the water and then just stick their beaks up. 
So they were all under the water when we came through here. Apparently our signal is very low, so we're going to head across to Jamie now. I'm going to do a thorough th search of this area, and hopefully we'll have some good news when I see you next.